Hi guys, it's Pippa Penny here, your personal wine guru, and welcome to another one of my virtual tastings. Yesterday, I sampled a Prosecco Rosé, so if you didn't watch the video, go back and watch it because it was a fantastic wine. So keeping on the theme of fizz, I thought I'd review two more sparkling wines. And here they are. We've got a champagne. This is Arnaud Robert, Brut Reserve. And a Prosecco. This is the Menestrello Prosecco DOC. So before we sample those wines and talk a little bit about those wines, I wanted to talk to you about the difference between Prosecco and Champagne and what they are. So Champagne comes from the region of Champagne in France. It's made with three great varieties, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier. And depending on the style that they want to make, they'll put more or less of those grape varieties, so three grape varieties. And even in some of the wines, they might even leave out one of those grape varieties or two of those grape varieties. But those three grape varieties are the grape varieties that are permitted in that region. So it's a sparkling wine and it's made in a method called the traditional method, originally called Method de Champagne Was. And it goes through two fermentations. Firstly, to make the base wine, the still wine, then the wine is blended and put into the bottle. And then they add a little bit of yeast and a little bit of sugar, and that kick starts a second fermentation inside the bottle. When that fermentation has finished, then it's a matter of carefully removing the yeast and then topping it up with a little bit of uh, kind of sugar and reserve wine which will uh, determine the style, whether they're making a brut, an extra brut, or a sec. Prosecco is made in a slightly different way. It still goes through two fermentations, but it all happens in a big vat, and that's called the Charmette method. So Prosecco is an Italian sparkling wine, which comes from Northern Italy. It's made with the Galera grape variety. And in terms of styles of the wines, a champagne, compared with the Prosecco, they are quite different in style. A lot of people say to me, Champagne is more dry. And this is because the Galera grape is generally quite a fruity grape, but not only that, the process, the Charmette method, um, really retains the freshness and fruitiness of that grape variety. Where Champagne has been aged, it's been in contact with yeast for a long period of time, so it, that imparts flavour onto the wine, giving it a kind of um, flavours of a bready flavour, yeasty flavour or brioche, which is all really wonderful. So it, it doesn't matter which one is your favourite, whether it's Champagne or Prosecco, or they both might be your favourite. They both are quite different styles, even though they are sparkling wine. So that's the history lesson. That's the uh, lesson about the sparklers. Let's start with our first sparkling wine. So we're going to start with Prosecco. As I said, this is the Menestrello Prosecco DOC. It's a beautiful label, actually. It's got a raised M, which is all sparkly. Really fabulous. This is an extra dry. This is vegan and vegetarian friendly. So let's open it and taste it together. As I said, this is made with the 100% Galera grape variety. And the winery is in like the heart of Val d'Orbiadene, which is in the Prosecco region, not too, in kind of Treviso, not too far from Venice. So, I've got my glass at the ready. I'm just gonna pour a small sample. In terms of colour as well, there's quite a difference between Champagne and Prosecco in terms of colour. Prosecco will be a lot lighter in the glass. So you'll see it's a nice kind of bright colour, got lots of bubbles, exactly what you expect from a Prosecco. Let's have a smell. Yeah, on the nose, really fruity, lots of kind of green apples and a little bit of melon. Let's taste. Again, lots of apples on the palate, fresh, vibrant, light, fruity, very easy drinking. Exactly what you expect a Prosecco to be and what you want a Prosecco to be. So as I said, this is vegan friendly. It's only 11%, which is relatively low. So 
you know, it um, means you can have several glasses of wine and not feel it. Um, this is from Morrison's. It's £6.50, absolute bargain and a really nice Prosecco. Perfect for any time of the year, but with Valentine's Day only around the corner, this might be the Prosecco for you. So have a look out for that, that's £6.50 from Morrison's. So, now we'll move on to our champagne. As I said, champagne is made with three different grape varieties, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir and Pinot Mernier. And the blend in this one is 50% Pinot Mernier, you've got a bit of Chardonnay, 30 and then 20% Pinot Noir. So let's sample this. So this is by the family owned winery, you may have not have heard of them, um, but there are lots of different champagnes in the Champagne region. Um, but there are lots of kind of the big champagne houses like Verve Clicquot, Mary Chandon. But do look out for the slightly um, smaller guys and the guys who aren't as well known because their champagnes are just as good. So this is a family owned winery. They've been established in the region since 1722. So it's still family owned. So it's a lot deeper in colour, as you can see when I hold the two together. It's a lot kind of darker in colour, richer in colour, more kind of dark yellow. And this has been aged for 36 months, so you're expecting kind of some sort of more developed aromas. And on the nose, I mean, it is really very nice. It is fruity, but it's more kind of riper, cooked apple. And then I do get brioche, which is really fantastic. It's really nice on the nose. Another thing you'll notice, because of the traditional method, you see these little bubbles, or they're referred to as beads. They're really small and really fine, and that's a good sign as well. So let's taste. Yeah, so on the palate, it's really dry which you want from a champagne. This is a brute, so that basically means dry. Mouth-watering. Um, it's kind of um, light, pretty light on the palate, light to medium. In terms of flavour, rich, ripe flavours, again, that kind of really kind of cooked apples and brioche. It reminds me a little bit of uh, like, a, like an apple donut. It's just really, really beautiful. Incredibly smooth, bags of flavour in that wine. This particular wine is in Tesco's at £20, which is an absolute steal for champagne. So don't always look for the big branded names. Do look out for champagnes like this. So this is the Arnold Robert uh, Brut Reserve and it's £20 from Tesco's. So I'll just show you both of them again. As I said, they're both vegan and vegetarian friendly and they're both fantastic. So if you want something for Valentine's Day, do consider these two wines. Cheers.